Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about computer keyboard keys not working. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this straightforward tutorial. Let's get right into the video. If none of the keys on your keyboard work, then that usually means that it's a mechanical failure or the cord itself is broken in some way, shape or form. And in that case, you probably have to get a new keyboard because replacing the cord is usually quite expensive and difficult to do for the most part, at least in my opinion. Um, so if none of the keys work, then you can try wiggling the cord a little bit and checking if it's a software issue. But if the cord wiggle doesn't work, sort of just move the cord because it might be disconnected at some point by accident within the wiring. Um, and if it's not a software issue, if you've ruled that out, then you probably need a new keyboard. But if there are one or two or just a few keys that are not working, this is the video for you, okay? Usually when one or two or a handful of keys don't work, even if it's all the keys in a certain area, it's usually because something underneath is causing the problem. So what we have here, what we can see are called keycaps. And you can actually remove those keycaps, okay? And if you remove those keycaps, um, then it reveals what's underneath. And that is usually what's causing the problem. So. What we're going to do here is you can um, remove them by simply like prying them off. There are specific tools, certain tools that you can use. I just, you can use a ruler like this, anything that's thin enough. I like to press one of the keys down and then I can, that allows me to put the ruler in beside the key that I want to remove. And I can just sort of pry upwards. I'm just going to prevent it from flying off. So, oh, there we go. And it still flew off. Um, and that actually allows me, I'm just going to grab it. That actually allows me to pop off the keycap. And that reveals what is underneath, as you can see right there. Now, when you see what's underneath, um, if this is the key that was not working, you can clean under there. So I would recommend that you <laughs> blow into it using either compressed air or your own breath. And then you wanna clean it up. And you can clean it up with any sort of electronic cleaning solution that you like. I use uh, isopropyl alcohol, as you see right over here. I just put a Q-tip, I dip it in the solution, and uh, I take that Q-tip and I just sort of, and you can see how gunky it is if you take a look right there. Um, I just sort of clean around and I'll show you the Q-tip because you're going to be amazed at how dirty the Q-tip is because it's just so gross in there. Just like that and clean where the key cap actually moves down. Okay, so that's the first step. You can see, ooh, that is pretty, 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 pretty gross. Anyways, um, you want to do that for any of the keys that are not working. And even if, if this key was the only one that was not working, I'd probably clean all of the keys around it as well. You can also clean the key itself by using the same Q-tip, just a different side and sort of cleaning inside. This side hasn't been, uh, doesn't have anything on it yet. But you know, you would put your cleaning solution on it and you would clean the key itself. Once you've done that, you're going to let everything dry and you're going to try to see if it works again. So hopefully that will work for you. You're going to let it dry, put the keycap back on, which usually you just pop it in place like that. You put it, make sure it's straight down and give it a nice push like that. It's not dry, so I'm going to remove it again, but that's how you put it back in place. Um, yeah, you're going to basically just uh, put the keycap back in place like that and see if it works and hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, then you're going to have to get to the underside of the keyboard and continue cleaning. Because right now, as you can see, there's just this part of the keyboard, but there's actually more mechanical stuff underneath it. And if that's the case, you're going to have to get to the underside, which in some keyboards, you're just going to be able to remove that little piece right there. In a keyboard like this, as far as I know, you would have to remove the actual sort of like all of the keys and the actual fascia of the keyboard. And then you can get to the underside um, and then you can access it. On some keyboards, there might actually be screws as well, but I don't believe that that's the case with this keyboard. I could be wrong, but either way, you're gonna have to get to the underside and continue cleaning. Hopefully that works. If it doesn't work, then you know, uh, you're probably gonna have to end up getting a new keyboard or getting uh, looking into it further. There are other things you can do, but these are by all means like the most amateur, easy things that anyone can sort of try to do to get their keyboard to work again. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.